Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to the channel. So this week we are doing a super quick video and it's one that a couple of you guys have requested and I realized that it has been a little while since I did one of these and that is just an update on the cave gecko. I was looking back and it's been about a month and a half, a little over that as you watch this since I have had her and some things have changed and you guys want to see her again. So that's what we're doing. We're doing an update on Mazikeen. This video is sponsored by iHeartGecko so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's jump right into it. So Mazikeen is doing absolutely fan fantastic. I'm super excited. As you guys know, I think I said in the last video, I was kind of nervous to make the video as fast as I did when I got her, but I was so excited. I wanted to share her with you guys, but she's been doing great. She went from only eating doobie roaches, if you remember in that last video, to now she basically only wants mealworms. She will eat anywhere between about seven and ten mealworms every single night. The small ones, of course. Sometimes she will eat baby doobie roaches if I put them in there. I have also offered her wax worms, which she ate one or two of and she wasn't really a fan of, but we are still trying to switch things up. She seems like she finds a favorite and sticks to that, which is fine. I was really, really hoping to get some footage of her actually eating, but she's super shy. So she comes out and destroys all of her food at nighttime because she's also nocturnal. And she waits until we're, I guess, asleep in bed and she eats. I do not have eating footage of her. I did have have this footage of me attempting to hand feed her and she ran away. So not there yet, but we are making progress. She has gotten a bit bigger. I'm not really sure if you can see the difference in these videos of how much bigger she's gotten, but she has gotten quite a bit bigger, which is super exciting. And she has like a little belly going on. And I feel like her colors have gotten so much brighter. The blacks on her body are a lot blacker and the yellows are so bright. When I was pulling all this stuff out the other day to just kind of clean things off, she shocked me as to how bright she actually was. As far as her tank, everything is still exactly the same. I did add some springtails. Since her tank does stay pretty secluded and wet all the time, I did add some springtails. That way, if any kind of mold issue were trying to happen, then they can go ahead and just deal with that and I don't have to worry about it. Springtails are so fantastic to add into any kind of a wet tank because they'll clean up that waste and deal with potential mold issues, which is awesome. She is still in this 10 gallon tank and it makes me super happy that she's eating in this tank because her previous owner had her in a little box because she wouldn't eat in a 10 gallon tank. She wouldn't eat at all. She wouldn't go to search for food or anything. And she has no problem with that now, but I'm leaving her in here for another month. I have one more month of leaving her in this 10 gallon tank and she is actually going to be upgraded to a bioactive setup. The bioactive setup is already set up and there will be a video coming next month, the very end of next month, where I show how I set that up for her and all that stuff and I'm super excited about that. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see when I post that video because I'm super excited about it. As far as her temperament, because on the last video I had people ask me if I ever see her, I think was the question and still not really. Her previous owner mentioned that she did like to squirm and I don't remember if she said she like to pee on her or if she just kind of squeaked, but she did not like to be touched at all. And it is to the point now that when I do just normal maintenance on her tank, she doesn't do that. She does still run, but sometimes she actually lets me take little videos of her without running and she doesn't do any kind of squeaking or panicking or peeing or anything like that, which is super awesome. Occasionally I will see her in the very front of her tank, just kind of hanging out. So that is super awesome as well because I feel like a little bit of progress is being made. But that is it for this video, guys. I know it was super short, but 
Like I said, a couple of you guys were asking for updates on her, and I know in that last video where I actually set up her tank, there was not a lot of footage of her because she just kind of scurried away. So I just wanted to get you guys a lot of footage of the cave gecko and let you guys know that she's doing absolutely fantastic. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by I Heart Geckos. I Heart Geckos is a really cool company that makes conversion kits for aquariums. And what those conversion kits allow you to do is to make front opening tanks for aquariums that you may just have laying around instead of going and getting big name brand front opening tanks for your animals. These are especially helpful if you are trying to set up a tank for something like a crested gecko, where you need to be able to reach in from the front of the tank to get them out or change their food ledges or whatever. These conversion kits are super easy to install. You just put a little bit of silicone around them and they last. They're super high quality, offer a lot of ventilation and the doors are very secure and they're just really awesome kits. Make sure that if you do order from iheartgeckos.com, you put Els Reptiles in the how did you hear about us box so that way they know you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and occasionally on Wednesdays. Very rarely on Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out goes to Leviathan Snakes for following me on Instagram and going through it and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out is for Samantha Ferretti for commenting on last week's video. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. And welcome back to the channel. So, so this week we are doing a super quick video. So, Mazakin is doing app. Is that everything? Let's see. Um, so. Food, setup, growth, heating and lighting. What am I doing? Oh, shout outs. This week's Instagram shout out goes to Leviathan Snakes. Did I do this one last? Did I do this one last week? Who did I do last week? Dark circles under my eyes. I promise I sleep. <laughs> Sometimes. Is that it?